بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سٹوڈنٹس آج ہم اپنا چپٹر نمبر سکسٹین سٹارٹ کریں گے ہائیڈرو کاربنز ہائیڈرو کاربنز جو ہے اس کو دیٹ از ریلیٹڈ ود آرگینک کیمسٹری ہم جو کہ ہم آرگینک کیمسٹری والا پارٹ پڑھ رہے ہیں اپنی بک کا تو اس میں ہائیڈرو کاربنز کا یہ جو ہے وہ فسٹ آپ کا چیپٹر ہے ہائیڈرو کاربنز کیا ہیں ہائیڈرو کاربنز ہمارے آرگینک کمپاؤنڈس ایسے آرگینک کمپاؤنڈس ہیں وچ آر اونلی فارمڈ بائی کاربن اینڈ ہائیڈروجن یعنی اس میں دو ہی ایلیمنٹس ہیں کاربن اور ہائیڈروجن ٹھیک ہے اور نیکسٹ جو ہے اس کے ساتھ ہی انہوں نے ڈیفائن کیا ہے کیٹینیشن کیٹینیشن کہتے ہیں کہ ایک ہی جو ہے وہ کاربن ایٹم کا دوسرے کاربن ایٹم کے ساتھ لنک کر کے بانڈ بنا کے چینز بنانا ایسی پراپرٹی کو ہم کیٹینیشن کہتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے آن دا بیسز آف کیٹینیشن ہائیڈرو کاربنس بہت طرح کے ہمارے پاس جو ہے وہ موجود ہیں ابھی ہم ان کا یہ جو ہے وہ کلاسیفیکیشن دیکھیں گے ٹائپس آف ہائیڈرو کاربنس ہائیڈرو کاربن بیسیکلی آر آف ٹو ٹائپس اوپن چین ہوتے ہیں جنہیں ہم سائیکلک ہائیڈرو کاربنس کہتے ہیں اینڈ دا ادر ون آر کلوز چین جنہیں ہم سائیکلک ہائیڈرو کاربنس کہتے ہیں فردر اگر ہم ان کی کلاسیفیکیشن دیکھیں اوپن چین آر آف ٹو ٹائپس سیچوریٹڈ ہائیڈرو کاربنس وچ آر آلسو نون ایز الکینس اینڈ دے کنٹین سنگل بانڈ ان دیم اینڈ دا ان سیچوریٹڈ کاربن آر نون ایز الکینس اینڈ الکائنس دے کنٹین دا ملٹیپل بانڈس آف کاربن ایٹم ٹھیک ہے نیکسٹ کلوز چین کمپاؤنڈس آر بیسیکلی آف ٹو ٹائپس ایلی سائیکلک ہائیڈرو کاربنس وچ آر آلسو نون ایز سائیکلو الکینس اینڈ ایرومیٹک ہائیڈرو کاربنس آر بینزین اور بینزین ڈیریویٹوس آف بینزین ناؤ وی ول ڈسکس دیم ون بائی ون اوپن چین ہائیڈرو کاربنس Open chain hydrocarbons, as I have uh, already told you, that open chain hydrocarbons are of uh, two types, saturated and hydros. Uh, unsaturated here is a simple difference given uh, between saturated and unsaturated. Saturated hydrocarbons are the carbons in which carbon atoms are linked together through only single covalent bonds. Okay? And uh, example are methyl, butane, etc. Branched chain. They may be branched chain or straight chain. Next are unsaturated hydrocarbons. Uh, similar to saturated, they can be straight chain as well as they can be of branched chain. Unsaturated hydrocarbons are unsaturated because they contain multiple bonds like double bond and triple bond. And double bond uh, uh, hydrocarbons are known as alkenes or olefins and triple bond are known as alkynes or acetylenes. Here are examples given along them. Next is the closed chain hydrocarbons are of I as I have already told you they are alicyclic and aromatic. Alicyclic are the non-benzidoid cyclic hydrocarbons and uh, uh, cyclic, alicyclic hydrocarbon and the examples are given above and the aromatic hydrocarbons are the benzenoid cyclic hydrocarbon and the benzene ring or benzenoid uh, hydrocarbons are those which contain a hexagonal ring containing alternate double bond and triple bond. Here are given some example benzene, toline, naphthalene etc. Next is our alkanes and cycloalkanes. Now we will discuss their nomenclature as well. Um, nomenclature uh, is the art of naming. Nomenclature means the art of naming. Uh, as we have different languages in our world, so the name of the compounds are varied from area to area or country to country. So the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, IUPAC, has assigned some rules to uh, give the name uh, to any uh, organic compound or any hydrocarbon. So these are the rules for naming alkanes and cycloalkanes. Uh, while naming the alkanes and uh, cycloalkane, the first and the foremost step is the location of the largest chain. In the uh, any uh, chain, either it is straight chain or branch chain, first of all, we have to locate the longest chain. The longest chain is that chain which contains the maximum number of carbon atoms. That chain is known as stem, main chain, principal chain or parent chain. Next uh, is the numbering of the uh, hydrocarbon chain. If we have a selection of which, if we have two equal length of chains are available in any hydrocarbon, then which one is preferred? The, the chain which contain more branches is preferred as a main chain. Next, numbering. We have to number the longest chain in accordance to the rule that the branches attached with them should have the lowest possible number. So the correct numbering is the that one which give the lowest number to the substituent or branches attached to them. If the substituents are on the identical position, then we have to uh, 
then we have to uh, sum up the number of the substituents and uh, from where we get the lowest sum uh, we will start our numbering on that from that side and uh, yes, the position of the substituent is indicated by the number of carbon atom to which is attached and uh, it is prefixed to the name of the group selected by the uh, separated by the hyphen next name of alkyl groups uh, are written before the name of the parent hydrocarbon in alphabetical order uh, means uh, the alkyl group which comes alphabetically first is written first in the name of the hydrocarbon next uh, if uh, uh, the uh, substituent are present uh, more than two times or three times the prefixes di tri tetra accordingly are uh, used before the name of the substituent Okay, if uh, two identical groups appear at the same carbon atom, the number is separated twice, separated by commas. Example is 2 to dimethyl pentane. Next is uh, the longest chain of the substituent is numbered starting with the carbon attached directly to the main chain. Parentheses are used to separate the numbering of the substituent and the main chain. So these are the rules for naming alkenes. And uh, next are the physical properties of alkenes. Alkenes are colorless, odorless. Uh, gases from the carbon 1 to carbon 4 methane to butane and uh, from pentane to heptadecane uh, the they are colorless uh, odorless liquids and the higher numbers uh, uh, c starting from c18 and onwards are solid they are also colorless and odorless alkanes are non-polar and very weakly polar and are insoluble in polar solvents like water and they are soluble in polar non-polar solvents like benzene ether carbon tetrachloride etc and their boiling point and melting points uh, densities increases as the number of carbon atom increase so why the uh, first four members of this series are gases colorless or less gases and the next members up to 18 carbon atoms are liquid and uh, they have very low melting and boiling point and above c18 there are solid and they have low very low melting points Next, if we talk about the structure, structure may be uh, is of two categories. They may be straight chain compounds or they may be branched chain compounds. Uh, then as about isomeric alkenes, isomeric alkenes are the alternate forms of a compound, of a one compound which have same molecular formula and the different structural formula. For example, N-butane and isobutane. If we have their for molecular formula, the molecular formula is C5H10. Of N-butane is also C5H10 and of isobutane is also C5H12, sorry, not 10. Next is N-pentane, isopentane and neopentane. These are the isomers of pentane and they have the formula C, uh, C5H12. So these are all the isomers of pentane. If we talk about the relative stability, the branched chain alkanes are more stable as compared to the straight chain uh, uh, alkanes. If we talk about the reactivity, they are known, uh, alkanes are known as paraffins. Paraffins mean less reactive. They are less reactive due to the inertness of sigma bond because they have carbon-carbon sigma bond and it is, uh, uh, it is a non-polar bond and uh, so it is very difficult to break that bond and so why the alkanes show very less reactive. So these are the uh, two factors which uh, uh, affect the reactivity, uh, inertness of sigma bond. I have already told you that the carbon-carbon sigma bond is inert towards many reaction because it is a sigma bond formed by the head-to-head -head overlap of uh, sp3 hybridized orbital and uh, this is very difficult to break that bond. Uh, that's why these are less reactive. So non-polar nature also make them less reactive because polar molecules are subjected towards reaction more easily as compared to the non-polar one because non-polar molecules are inert and they show less reactivity. So uh, uh, overall, anyhow, overall uh, the alkanes show two types of reaction, thermal or catalytic reactions and number, one, number two are the substitution reaction. Okay, next uh, is uh, our cycloalkane. Cycloalkanes are the uh, organic compound in which carbon atom is sp3 hybridized but is present in cyclic form. Uh, the the um, smallest member of this series is cyclopropane because uh, two carbon atoms cannot form a cyclic structures and the minimum 
carbon atom which are required to make a cyclic structure is 3 so the smallest member of this series is cyclopropane Cyc next is cyclobutane nomenclature is that uh, the parent name is written at the end parent name depend upon the number of carbon atom which are present in the cyclic structure of the compound and uh, uh, along with we add cyclo and the um, substituent are named before uh, prefixed in the, before the name of the parent and uh, they are their uh, position is separated by comma and uh, and uh, it is uh, separate and the number of the or the position of the carbon atom is separated from the main name by a hyphen you can see one to dimethyl cyclobutane so uh, if we talk about their physical properties their intramolecular forces between the molecules uh, uh, of the cycloalkane are very weak because they are induced triple forces or London dispersion forces. Uh, if we talk about uh, their structure, their generic formula is CNH2N, and which is analog to alkane. And uh, C3 to C6 cycloalkanes are shown below in variety of representation. So these are the representation of the C3 to C6 carbon atoms. If we talk about the reactivity, uh, uh, reactivity uh, they are similar in reaction towards alkanes so they show thermal or catalytic reaction or number two they show substitution reaction so by this uh, the topic of uh, physical properties cycloalkane has come to an end tomorrow we shall discuss about the reactions of alkanes till then Allah Hafiz take care